When I started my pilot career in 2006, there was no guidance, no one to precisely tell me how to go about my pilot training. All heard information, misinformation and confusion until I really figured out the real process. After all, I was the first one to become a pilot in the entire family. But as you are watching this now, this will shorten the curve for you. In this video, we'll be talking about medicals, DGCA computer number, DGCA exams, flight training, RTR exams, and my recommended sequence for it. As you successfully get through the steps that we cover here, in the sequence that I encourage you to go with, you should be able to get your commercial pilot license in the fastest and most efficient way. Hello everyone, I'm Captain Neha Thakre, a captain on Airbus 320 and a mentor for aspiring pilots in India. I have been training aspiring pilots since 2008 and I make these videos because there is a lot of misinformation about pilot training and I don't want you to be the victim of that misinformation. Side note, this video is only for aspiring pilots that are serious about pilot training and are eligible for the same. Let's get started. So as you finish your 12th with physics, maths and English, start preparing for the DGC exams. Yes, I said it. Don't wait for anything. Just start. Many might say, what about medical computer number? Yes. Hear me out why I am saying that. Reason number one. When you are just done with 12th, you are in the momentum of studying. You are more disciplined than otherwise. And I strongly recommend not losing that momentum. Just immediately channel that momentum into studying for the DGC exams. And I'm sure you will perform your best and get done with this one of the most important part of pilot training. Reason number two, DGCA medicals is not an active work that consumes your lot of time. All it takes is one day to get the test done and one to two visits to DGCA medical examiner. Overall, this should not take more than 72 hours maximum of your active time. So. As you start this preparation, get in touch with DGCA Medical Examiner. Get the recommended test done from NABL Certified Pathological Lab. As you produce those reports to your DGCA Medical Examiner, and as long as everything is within normal limits, WNL, that's the abbreviation, your DGCA PMR file number will be generated and you should be able to get your DGCA Class 2 Medical Assessment. After Class 2 Medical, you can apply for Class 1 Medical. With EGCA, the process has become way faster than it used to be. So take advantage of it. Validity of class 2 medical is 2 years. So within that period, you can apply for class 1 medical. And that is only after clearing your class 2 medical, not before that. Requirement for DGCA class 2 and class 1 medical is to be fit according to DGCA standards for civil aviation pilots. Now, the DGCA computer number. Many aspiring pilots as they start don't know what this is. And those who know, very few have applied for it. And even fewer have it issued. I'll explain. So, computer number is like an enrollment number for DGCA exam. It's like when you walk to a bank to open an account, the bank person issues you an account number and that number is the same for rest of your life. The same is with the DGCA computer number. You can only apply for DGCA exams once you have a computer number issued to you by DGCA. One point that you need to be aware about is this. It's very easy to get computer number application rejected as no mistakes in this application are overlooked by DGCA. So take guidance from someone who has done it successfully. You will need your 12th certificate and mark sheet with verification of physics, maths and English for issuance of the DGCA computer number in CPL category. So for the same reason, if you haven't received 12th results yet, you will need to wait for the computer number application until you get those results. Side note, many times I get asked, can I apply for a computer number without having DGCA medical? The answer is yes, you can. DGCA computer number is for DGCA exams and DGCA PMR file number is for DGCA medical. So these two enrollment numbers are two separate issuances and 
these remain the same throughout your pilot career while computer number is handled by pariksha wing of the dgca and pmr file number is handled by medical cell of dgca so that's the first step actually three steps in one so start studying the dgca exams get class 2 medical done apply for dgca computer number some might ask what if someone fails medical then what first i strongly recommend that get into pilot career only and only if you are fit in the best of your knowledge if you have any known medical condition that can affect your pilot career then don't get into pilot career for those who are unfortunately not privileged with the required level of fitness there are many other career options and i am of an opinion that if you give enough hard work and 100% to any career you will succeed second i can say it with more certainty to students to start preparing for dgca exams even if you don't have medicals yet yes is because at cntaa we refund students fees in case any cntaa student is declared as permanently medically unfit during their tenure with cntaa so students have nothing to lose and they can utilize time more efficiently instead of waiting on medical assessment for months once you have a computer number now you can apply for dgca exams if you are planning on doing your flight training abroad then you need to pass three subjects air navigation aviation meteorology and air regulation for those who are planning on flight training in india need to pass additional two subjects that is technical general and technical specific passing percentage for these exams is 70% and the knowledge that you gain while preparing for these exams is vitally important for your pilot career DGCA exam study is not anything like conventional studies for school and college exams where some students just pass and forget about the subject ever existed this knowledge is something that the candidate will also be assessed over in his or her airline recruitment exams if you consider pilot career so prepare in such a way that you will never forget it if all that sounds overwhelming to you you can simply join cntaa at cntaa we guide students through the process and assist our students in computer number application for those who want to join india's best online on demand ground class for dgc exams join cntaa the pilot ground school with audio visual explanation of concepts that acts as a memory aid dgc like practice questions scheduling progress monitoring individual doubt solving cntaa students clear dgc exams in their first attempt with excellent results link for the demo lessons is in the description at cntaa i facilitate you with the knowledge and resources so that you will succeed in your pilot career so this is what your first 90 days into aviation should look like you should be done with your dgc exams and medical in this time period whether from india or abroad i strongly recommend doing medicals before starting your flight training the next step is joining a flight school while i have done my flight training from india in my opinion flying from us is something that i would recommend that's from the experience of my fellow pilots my brother and many of my students if financial means are in favor then choose flight school from us primary reason to do flight training from the us are completion time is faster training quality is much better it gives more exposure to flying in high air traffic environment after all us is the largest aviation market in the world us has more flying infrastructure than any other country on planet earth as you join flight school in the us you can expect finish your flight training in less than 12 months This training will involve getting a FA private pilot license followed by getting an instrument rating building solo 100 hours of experience followed by getting a FA commercial pilot license overall flight experience on your logbook will be between 220 to 250 hours on successful completion if financially it is not feasible for you to do the flight training abroad 
India also has many good flight schools. India is one of the fastest growing aviation industry. Choosing a flight school in India is not a bad option either. All flight schools in India are approved by DGC as they become operational. Flight training in India takes 15 to 18 months as long as student has his or her DGC exams cleared. You will have it cleared before joining the flight school. Whether from India or abroad, flight training involves learning different skills, maneuvers, procedures, techniques, etc. Without a doubt, flight training is one of the most memorable and joyous experience in pilot training that pilots cherish for the rest of their lives. Once you have completed flight training as per the DGCA requirements, you are almost ready to get your DGCA CPL. Now the next requirement is RTR license. For those flying from US can go to Canada for about a week before flying back to India and get Canadian license on the basis of FAA commercial license. As Canada is a commonwealth country, you can skip the steps of giving RTR exam in India for issuance of the DGCA CPL. As you come back to India with your FA and Canadian CPL, it's time to get general flight test today and general flight test night done from the flight school in India. GFT day, GFT night is basically the flight of about 8 to 10 hours where a general flight test is performed by DGCA representative or approved instructor. For those who are planning on doing the flight training in India, will need to give the RTR exams. Followed by this step, the documents could be submitted to DGCA for the issuance of CPL. As you meet the DGCA requirements, you will be issued with a commercial pilot license. So there you have it. While the journey of pilot career doesn't end here, getting a DGCA CPL is a remarkable milestone. As you receive this CPL, continue your momentum of chasing that seat in the airline cockpit, continue preparing and as airlines come up with the recruitment, perform your best and achieve that goal of becoming an airline pilot. I'm there to help you. This video should have given you a brief idea about your pilot training. For sure, having this information is important, but at the same time, thinking about all this at once could get overwhelming. So don't worry, focus on the next step and eventually, as you continue your stride in the right direction, I strongly believe that you will eventually step into the airline cockpit as a pilot. If you wish to get started today, take your first step into aviation as a pilot, sign up for CNTAA, the pilot ground school, link in the description is below and see you in the next video.